Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be bringing you some Xbox news. Now, this is really only for Xbox 360 Slim owners, as you can see right here. If you have an Xbox 360 Fat, you really don't need to worry about this video. Or, if you are upgrading to a Slim, you might want to pay attention if you're interested in flashing your drive. So first off, basic, basic stuff. What is flashing a drive? Well, it's when you take your DVD drive out of your Xbox, hook it up to your computer, right over a custom firmware to your drive that enables you to play burned, backed up games. That's about it. Now, what am I talking about today? I'm talking about the Light Touch Ultimate iExtreme firmware, along with the Light Touch Ultimate PCB board. Now, you might be asking, Mario, what do these things mean? Well, I'm going to explain them. I made a video a while ago, but because a bunch of people are lazy on the internet, because it's the internet of all places, I'll explain those as well because I'm good guy Mario. Light Touch Ultimate is a brand new firmware. Now, if you're on Light Touch 2 or Light Touch 3, you don't need to worry about this, okay? This does not concern you. As of today, January 31st, 2013, C4EVA has released his first variant of Light Touch Ultimate firmware, which is ironically Light Touch Ultimate version 1.2, even though it's the first one available. So what does this new firmware do? Well, for one, it is only compatible with Light Touch Ultimate PCB boards as of right now. It might be compatible on other boards, but we'll just wait and see what happens. Now, what is the difference with Light Touch Ultimate and regular Light Touch? Well, with Light Touch Ultimate, all you need is your DVD key. You don't have to have an original firmware dump. You don't need to have a full firmware dump or anything like that. As long as you have that 32-digit drive key, either from your drive or from your motherboard, you'll be good to go. You can just put that DVD key into a Light Touch Ultimate firmware and flash it over to your Light Touch Ultimate PCB board, and you're good to go. So, this is good and bad. It's good because that means that now every Slim is hackable. Every Slim available on the market can be reset glitch, and every Slim on the market can be flashed now. No matter what drive, no matter what motherboard, no matter what dashboard you are on, they can all be hacked up. The bad thing is, this is now the only Team Executor PCB available for these. So before, if you had a Lighton 16D4S drive, you could just hack up your drive easily just using a little bit of hardware hacks or of some sort. You could do either a Kamikaze or you could use a switch. Any way you could get it to work. The Lighton 16D5S drives were unhackable for a while, as with the Hitachi drives, but this is an all-in-one PCB board, which means you buy the PCB board, you solder it in to replace your old PCB board no matter what drive you have, and it will work. Now, if you just buy this board, is it going to work magically? No, because when you put it in, it's going to be blank. What you need to do is you need to get your DVD key somehow. Now, if you have a Lighton 16 d 4 s you can pull the DVD key off of those boards and replace it with a Team Executor Light Touch Ultimate PCB. However, if you have any other drives, so that would be a Hitachi 500, a Hitachi 502, or any variant of the Lighton 16 d 5 s drives, you have to reset glitch your system at this moment in time. That is the only way to do it. Essentially, that means you're going to have to end up reset glitching your system depending on the dashboard version. You might have to use a DGX to get all the CPU keys and stuff off there. You have to glitch it to the point where you can get your DVD key off of there, and then if you want to, you can unglitch it. That's one of the downsides to this, really. If you don't have a 16D4S, then you're really going to, you, you know, you either need to have the skill or you need to know someone who can do this and you need to pay them to do it. So, really, it, it's one of those things, if you have a 16D4S, you don't want to screw with your drive or anything, you might as well just get the PCB, but if you have anything above that, you have to get the PCB. There's no other way at this point in time, and you are going to have to reset glitch. Now, the only other downside of this PCB is the steep price on it. You see, it is the only one available of its kind right now, and it is $70. You can buy it on X consoles or a few other places. It depends worldwide. However, $70 is a bit of a steep price, but that's how the other ones have sold before. Now, me personally, I'm going to be waiting on it either until I can get one for cheap or maybe Matrix will release one that is maybe $30 or $40, kind of like what they've done with their Matrix Freedom boards. By the way, if you have a Lighton 16D4S drive, 
not a 5S, a 4S drive, and you want to replace the PCB, you can no longer buy the 16D4S PCB replacements anymore. You can only buy the Light Touch Ultimate PCBs if you're going with Team Executor. However, if you don't want to go with Team Executor and you still want a PCB, you can buy a Matrix Freedom board for $40, which to me is a reasonable price, although doing the hacks on there are easy enough. So at the end of this video, what am I going to be saying? Well, Light Touch Ultimate is out, the PCB is out. However, since I don't have the tools or anything, I am not going to be doing a tutorial. Also, if you've been following me at all, this console I have here is dual NANDed. So if I need to play any of my backed up games, I can just flip over to my reset glitch side and I can just play them off a hard drive there. All my legit games, I can just play straight off the disc online and I'm good to go. So anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope I helped you all out, and I hope you all learned something while watching this. So, for all you slim owners, you can rejoice. Your consoles are now busted wide open.